Pamela Anderson is considered one of the sexiest women in Hollywood in the 90s. She got her world fame after the TV series Baywatch, where she had to run on the beach in a swimsuit. That is where the actress with her outstanding forms was first noticed. But she is famous not only for this TV series. We'll tell you more about this further. Surprisingly, in her childhood the actress was a brunette and had dark hair, but after growing up, she decided to dye them blonde, and in my humble opinion, this image suits her much better. She was also very shy and modest in her childhood, but over the years the shyness disappeared, as we know. She was very fond of sports and even played in the local volleyball team. After graduating from high school, she took a fitness instructor course and began working as a physical education teacher. But then there was an event that completely turned her life upside down. If not for this happy day, maybe Anderson would have remained a teacher until retirement and she would never have gotten world popularity. So every person can have a life-changing encounter. Back then, Pamela was already a very beautiful and charming girl. In 1989, during a soccer game in Vancouver, at the age of 21, she was shown on the big screen of the stadium. The beauty was noticed by agents of the brewery company, and they invited her to shoot a beer commercial, and later offered the position of spokeswoman. After the commercial with Anderson and the title rule spread throughout North America, the world-famous man's magazine Playboy contacted the girl and offered to participate in a photo shoot. A very smart decision on Playboy's part. She first appeared on the cover of Playboy in the October issue in 1989. After that, she got her first fame. Naturally, after that, she appeared on the pages of Playboy more than once. In an interview, the actress said, Playboy made me stronger. It saved my life. I constantly felt like I was trapped and really wanted to get free. It was a real breakthrough for me, because I met so many artists, activists and true gentlemen. It was a fun and wild life. At this time, she moved from Canada to the US, and there she got her first movie roles. In 1992, she received an offer from Michael Burke, the creator of the series about lifeguards patrolling the beaches of Los Angeles. Pamela began starring in the series Baywatch from the third season and appeared there until the end of the fifth, having participated in 111 episodes. It was at this time, namely in 1994, that the actress got her implants installed, so it's safe to say that Pamela was one of the most beautiful and sexy in the series, where a great many other beautiful girls were filmed. I felt great on set. I spent days on end on the beach and I was getting paid for it, so I never thought about whether I looked good or bad. Thanks to this series, Pamela became a real sex symbol, not only in the United States, but also around the world, and the series itself eventually entered the Guinness Book of Records as the most watched television show of those years. Then she was invited to other projects, but all of her roles there were mostly episodic. Directors did not see her as an actress, only as a beautiful, charming and famous girl who could bring the movie more hype. In general, she has 49 roles in films and TV series on her account, and still occasionally glimpses in the movie. As for her personal life, Pamela had many romances, and officially she was married five times. Her first husband is rock musician Tommy Lee, with whom she had two sons. Remarkably, despite her busy life, Pamela was always a good mother. In an interview she said, My greatest job was to take care of my children and be there for them. I never hired babysitters, I wanted to be there with them as much as possible, to share attention and care. And in 1995, the famous home video of the couple hit the internet. Many of you probably saw it. Anderson and Tommy Lee later sued the company that distributed the tape and won $1.5 million. After all, there is justice in this world. The actress's second husband was also a rock musician, Kid Rock. They lived together for about a year. The third husband was a movie producer, Rick Salomon. What is interesting is that they divorced twice and married twice. Then, in 2020, Anderson had a secret wedding with producer John Peters, but their marriage lasted only two weeks. However, it was later reported that they were not officially married after all. 
Anyway, in 2021, she married again to a man named Dan Hayhurst, who is 13 years her junior. But in 2022, the couple divorced. Whether the actress is in a relationship now is unknown, but she's never been able to stay without male attention for long. In the fall of 2022, Pamela released a biographical book, Love Pamela, in which she tried to tell about her youth, the experience of erotic shootings in a popular magazine and, finally, about motherhood and career as an actress. At the end of January, the video service Netflix released the documentary Pamela – A Love Story, which starred, among others, Pamela herself. Now the actress can finally afford not to lose sleep over the slightest imperfections of her face and body. She dresses as she wants. Yes, Anderson has aged a lot, and now it's difficult to recognize the Barbie doll, which she was in the 90s. Well, that's to be expected. She's now 56 years of age. I can't wait to see myself old," said the actress with a smile and added that in the near future she will definitely buy a straw hat and completely abandon cosmetics. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Good luck everyone! See you next time!